I think ICAS has made strong progress in 2013 in building our professional community. And this is one of the, the cornerstones of our strategy going forward. I think a lot of work has gone into that. And I think we're beginning to see you know, real returns in that in terms of increasing in member engagement, people now feeling a greater sense of belonging to ICAS, which is critically important for us. I also think that we've done a lot in terms of thought leadership. 2013 was the beginning of the independence campaign. And I think ICAST did an outstanding job to get the real issues on the table and really get the debate going so that people can make an informed choice when the referendum takes place this year. I also think that the Institute is beginning to transform itself from being effectively a bricks and mortar institute into becoming a virtual institute. This is not something that's going to be achieved overnight, will require quite a lot of investment, but it is something that will, I'm certain, uh, give the Institute a very solid foundation for the future in having an effective way of communicating to all members wherever they are in the world. 2013 was a very important year for ICAS in that we now have, for the first time in our history, more than 20,000 members. As I come to the end of my presidential year, um, there's always a period of reflection when you look back and you think, am I handing over the Institute in a better shape than, than I inherited? When I inherited the Institute, it was an outstanding shape. The work that David Tweedy and many of his predecessor presidents had done had continued to grow and enhance this institute so that it does enjoy this phenomenal reputation almost everywhere in the world. Um, I look back on the 2013 as a year where we've just continued this momentum. A lot of really good things have been done in order to further embed the traditions and the values of ICAS to our international community of members and our key stakeholders. And as I hand over to, to Jan Brown, I'm confident that she will continue the momentum that has been built up over many years and we will further strengthen and enhance ICAS's image and reputation both nationally and internationally.